Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathbog. I hope you guys are doing well. I know right now this is uh, the year that we have been uh, staying at home as a teacher and as students. Also, I live in California, so so we've been at uh, we've been at home since March, and right now it's uh, January first. Happy New Year's. Anyway, so um, any I hope you guys are doing well. Turns out we're gonna I think go back in probably March or so. Um, Hopefully, so I, I really miss the classroom and you kiddos. So anyways, I teach high school in, in Sacramento. This lesson is on quarters. In the last lesson, we did uh, dimes and nickels. Okay, a dime was 10 cents. A uh, nickel is 5 cents. Quarters, quarters are 25 cents. So here's our, our common core strand for our most awesome teachers right here. So we're going to work with time and money. In this lesson, we're working with money. So our question here is how do we find the total value of a group of coins? Okay, so here we have a group of coins over here. It says first sort the coins and then we're gonna draw the coins. So I see some, the quarters are these bigger ones. So here's a quarter, here's a quarter, here's a quarter and they're 25 cents. I'm gonna put all the quarters up in this one right here. Let me just slide that over, grab that quarter. That's the tail side of a quarter right here. And then we'll slide that guy right up there. And then um, and then over here, I'm going to draw a picture of the quarter as the best as I can. Uh, so here, here's the dimes. The dimes are 10 cents. So I'll put the dimes in here. Okay, so that goes right there. Let's see, let's put this one. There's a tail side of a dime right, right there. And then here's um, the head sign right here. Okay, and then we'll put the nickels down here. These are all nickels right here. And so then I'll slide this tail one in and, and so on. So there they are all sorted. So let's draw those. So um, the quarter is 25 cents and the dime is 10 cents and the nickel is 5 cents. Okay, notice these are our cents symbols right here. Okay, so let's draw uh, the quarter. Okay, there's, I don't know, I found that picture online and somebody drew a picture of a quarter. So it's probably better than the one I could probably draw, but uh, I had to find something online. And the dime, so there's our dime and there's our nickel right there. Okay, and the quarter, whose picture is on the quarter? These are all presidents right here. This is our first president, Mr. Washington, George Washington, he was our first president. This is our 32nd president, which was uh, Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, he's on the dime right there. And then this one here is our third president, who was uh, Thomas Jefferson. So our second president was John Adams, and then Thomas uh, uh, Jefferson was our third president. So anyways, a little history lesson there for you. Uh, I forget sometimes. So, so describe how the value of a quarter is greater than the value of a dime. Okay, so here's our quarters, uh, dimes, and I put nickels there also. So a quarter is 25 cents. That's 10 cents. That's five cents. So how can we describe how the value of a quarter is more than the value of a dime? Well, a quarter is 25 and 25 is larger than a dime, which is 10 cents. So 25 cents is going to be greater than the value of 10 cents, something like that. Okay. So in fact, you guys, uh, two nickels, if I grab two of these nickels, it equals one of these dimes. And if I had two dimes plus a nickel, that would get me the value of one quarter right there. Okay. And then notice uh, these have our cents symbols. So that goes afterwards right there. Later on, we'll be talking about dollars and that goes before the numbers over here and there's decimals involved. But right now we're dealing with cents. So this is 25 cents. And please don't forget to put your sense symbol it's a little c with a slash going through i don't know where that came from but it, that's our symbol for cents anyway so please put 25 in the symbol for cents because um, uh, later on when we start dealing with uh, other problems that talk about you know the number of eggs in a carton or something they'd want you to put eggs so the 25 means 25 cents and 10 cents and, and 5 cents, okay? All right, so a quarter has a value of 25 cents. There's our magic quarter right there. So it says count, uh, we're going to count the total value of all these coins. And that's what the rest of this lesson is right here. So I'm going to separate them up and do one of them at a time. Remember, quarters are 25 cents, so it says count by 25s. And then this says count by 10s because uh, dimes are... 10 cents each and this says count by ones because pennies are only one cent each okay that's the tail end of a penny and these uh these tail ends especially change a lot uh, throughout the years 
um, a long time ago, it used to be a whole different symbol on there. Same with the, well, the dime's been pretty steady, but uh, you'll find the quarters, um, uh, the backside especially changes quite a bit. Nickels, a long time ago, the front side changed also. Sometimes they get different pictures, but it's the same president. Anyways, let's separate these up. Okay, so one quarter is 25 cents. Okay, so there was another quarter. So we're gonna add another 25 cents, 25 cents. So two quarters, if you don't know, you'll get used to this sooner or later. So I'm going to add 25 to 25, and so that's going to get me 50 cents right there. So there it is. So there's the value of those two quarters right there. Now we're going to add a dime, which is 10 cents. So 50 plus 10 is uh, 60 cents. Now we're going to add another dime, so another 10 cents. So 60 plus 10 is 70. Now we're going to add a penny, so 70 plus one is 71, and then one more penny, so 71 plus one is gonna give us 72. So what's the total? It's gonna be 72 cents. All right, and that's what we're doing is we're counting the money here. So let's go ahead and do that with this. So count on to, uh, to find the total value. And remember, this is our cents symbol, so always put cents after that, okay? So here's the first two, there's three of them. I just didn't have enough room down here to put number three, okay? So this one, we're gonna count uh, how many two quarters are. Well, we did that before already. Let's just separate them up. There's one quarter, 25 cents. So let's add another quarter. We're gonna add 25 to 25 and that gets us 50 cents. So the total value in number one is 50 cents. Okay, I'm gonna uh, take out the rest of these. We'll just deal with this quarter first, but there's three quarters, a dime and a nickel. Let's deal with the first quarter, okay? That's 25 cents. Remember, there's three of them. So we're going to add another one. So two quarters, well, we have two quarters right here is 50 cents, okay? Now there's three quarters, so I'm going to add 25 to 50. So add two to five is seven, and add five to this zero gets us 75. So three quarters is 75 cents, okay? Remember, there's one dime, so I'm gonna add, uh, we'll, we'll add 10 to 75 to get 85, and then let's add that penny, that's gonna get us 86, so our total value is 86 cents. All right, let's do one more, you guys, okay? So here I see two quarters, a nickel, and two pennies, okay? Let's do them separately. So here's one quarter, 25 cents. Two quarters, remember that's 50 cents. And then we had a nickel, so we're gonna add five to 50 to get us 55 cents. And then we have that penny right there, so that's gonna get us 56 cents. We have one more penny, so 56 plus one is 57. So the total value with that group right there is 57 cents, okay? That's what your lesson's gonna look like today. And I don't know if you guys know that guy, but he loves helping Mr. Math Blog with his math lessons. All right, you guys, I hope you're doing well and take care.